Some of us are lucky to be successful in one field of business. Don Adam has made a huge success in three fields that I know of. Community television, construction and development, and the field that has touched me the most, banking. And not only did Don succeed once in banking, he's done it twice. As a member of the 2011 class of the Texas Business Hall of Fame, I'm so proud to welcome Don Adam into this year's Hall of Fame. The word momentum is synonymous with Donald Adam. Since graduating Texas A&M in the late 50s, Adam's momentum would carry him to success in almost every business endeavor he set his mind to. Insurance telecommunications, construction, and banking. When I left the military, I just worked for myself. I've never had a job working for anyone else. He grew a tax planning business through hard work and a stellar reputation. And one day, while visiting with clients in the small town of Brady, Texas, the proverbial light bulb moment came for Don Adam. I guess I was maybe a little bit uh, overzealous in my uh, uh, thoughts as to what my ability may be of competing with someone like that. But for the first time in America, there was a competing cable television company because I created, got a franchise here from the cities, built what was called Community Cable Vision Corporation, heads up in competition. He would try it and succeed in Texas and 10 other states, providing cable for thousands of households, eventually becoming one of the largest privately owned companies in the United States. So in typical Adam style, he decided to take the momentum from the cable company that he created and dive into the banking business. So I began studying like I did cable television. I didn't know one end of a cable from the other, but I learned quick but I had the ability to hire good quality people. So I decided, I think I'm going into the banking business. Well, uh, the banks I wanted to buy were uh, failing. He would sell the cable companies for an estimated $250 million in 1988. And then 44 days later would purchase 11 failed banks. I said, you're crazy. <laughs> Why in the world? Would you want to buy uh, these failed uh, uh, savings and loan associations? And I can tell you, there were many days that I thought about Dr. Atkinson's question, do you really know what you're doing? And I thought the entomologist, I think, may have known more than me. And, uh, but we worked through them, and ultimately, uh, it worked out very, very well. The banks would form a core of what became known as First American Bank. In 2005, Adam would sell First American to Citibank for a reported $750 million. Adam's development company built this amazing building, aptly named Momentum Plaza. It houses Don Adams' various entities, including his newest venture, American Momentum Bank, which has branches in Texas and Florida. I want to fill up this building. I want more associates uh, in the building where we can interact and uh, enjoy each other on a daily basis and help Bryan College Station. Don Adam has been impacting this part of the world throughout his career. When we uh, decided to go ask President Bush to put his library at AM, for example, Don was one of the first people I talked to. He's developed two really nice uh, residential areas, which we use at a and to recruit faculty. This is not the easiest place in the world to recruit a Nobel Prize winner to come to. He's, he's always had outstanding, uh, strong, strong leadership traits, and, and he continues to be a great leader, and he leads by example. When not in the Bryan College Station area, Adam and his wife of 50 years can be found flying across the country, enjoying their horse farm in Kentucky or their businesses in Florida. 
They recently created a $20 million cancer research facility in Tampa, which will target melanoma. But Texas will always be home. I find that business here in Texas is uniquely special. And I, I think we have so much going for our state versus other states. The diversity of uh, industries is probably second to none. For his momentum towards business growth and his legacy towards Texas business, we honor Donald Adam as the newest member of the Texas Business Hall of Fame.